Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. Daryl Owens from Legacy Maker asks, what's the biggest part of your game that you uh, you worked on in the offseason? Um, I would say more specifically steps, um, steps of the hole, uh, reads, um, a lot of film watching. And so just being able to run the ball more efficiently, uh, making the plays work, uh, no matter what the situation. Um, you know, last year, you lost a lot of efficiency on offense, and so with running the ball, and so this year, you know, want to work a lot on that. Um, especially during the off season, there was a lot of work put in, um, coming in with steps and, and being efficient with running the ball, and so. I think everybody knows you were in Hawaii for the. Uh Have you taken on more of a teaching role as a more veteran player, teaching new players like Simpson and Walker the offense? Um, well, I mean, throughout the experience of fall camp, I definitely feel that uh, coaches put a lot on me to, you know, help the new players that have come in um, with the absence of, you know, Jamari, uh, Lamont and PK, guys that I looked up to as, as veterans and people that taught me. Um, I, you know, take it upon myself to not only help my guys with, with the plays, but also to, to teach them and instruct them um, just as Coach Atawaya would the same. So um, just been trying to help Coach Atawaya as best as I can. Uh, he's been doing a great job of teaching, but, you know, as he always says, peer to peer is always the best way to learn. Uh, this is from Mike Barber in Richmond. Uh, Wayne, give me a scatter report on Shane Simpson. What does he do well? What kind of player is he? Are your games similar? Um, I would say that he's a very seasoned player, veteran player. Um, when you see him run the ball, when you see him go out for passes, when you see him block, uh, you can tell he's been playing, you know, the game of football for a long time. Um, you know, very educated on, on on what's what, and you know, it's really easy for him to pick up the plays. Uh, and so it's kind of nice to, you know, have that as a, as a player beside that, that I can learn from, but also teach in a way where we're both, you know, making progress and you know, making an impact on the offense. And so I'd say, you know, he's a very fast uh, runner. Um, kills the outside when it comes there and so trying to gain knowledge from him and him from me is, is kind of our goal right now. Uh, Shane, how has the move from Towson to UVA been and what are your goals for the upcoming season? Um, it's been it's been wild to say the least obviously me picking UVA and then obviously coming down here that Saturday so everything was real rapid had to get all the paperwork and everything um, situated but since I got here they treated me like family and I can't uh, thank Coach Mendenhall and the staff and my new brothers enough for like bringing me in. Uh, what kind of reps are you getting in practice? And um, what differences have you noticed so far going up against uh, FCS level defense um, I'm, compared to Virginia's defense? Yes, sir. Um, I, I'm running with the ones with Wayne and Ronnie Walker. And it's not, it's not too big of a difference. I mean, I did play against FBS schools, but like, Going against them every day in practice is definitely different. The speed is definitely a little faster. And the biggest difference I can tell um, from the SCS level to the FBS level is the offensive lineman and the defensive lineman. And then obviously you have um, elite skilled players at um, each position. So I'll say that's probably the biggest difference.